With SP Hub, you can aggregate and structure documents across SharePoint based on associated taxonomy and various metadata like the site, author, and content type. Let's start our demo from adding SP Hub to the modern SharePoint page. As a starting point, we need to choose either Manage Metadata Site column or any term set or term directly from the term store. After selecting Term option, we can browse through the whole term store. As you can see, we have three term sets defined – Document Categories, Publishing Categories, and Retention Policies. We can choose one of those to pull all items that are tagged by any of those terms. As you can see, our items were grouped by terms within the term set. We can click through to open them up or update expandable options to show it all. Let's add additional grouping options by adding another level. We'll choose another term set, Retention Policies. As you can see, now we have a second level grouping. We can select another grouping level by choosing Author. It's also possible to change grouping levels by dragging the group to the right place. Let's remove other groupings for now. Our originally selected term set is flat. Let's try to choose something more complex – Publishing Categories. Adding grouping works here as well. We can again add document categories to the picture. As a quick walkthrough, you can also control Item Limit, apply custom CSS, various display templates, show view count, and much more. When you hover over the items, standard preview feature is working as usual. Our clients are using SP Hub to surface documents on their internet portals team and communication sites. It's a hub to your SharePoint data and it's free.